<laughs> There's gonna be a lot of people upset with that ending, let me tell you what. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So Final Fantasy VII Remake. I just completed the game a couple hours ago, and I just can't get it out of my mind. Now, I want to go ahead and pretty much let everybody know that this is going to be a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to spoil anything. So don't worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not going to ruin anything anything for you guys all the game footage that i have in this review will all be from the earlier chapters mostly the demo here's what i'm going to say about this game i hear a lot of people out there kind of giving this game a lot of crap saying that this game has too much fluff where resident evil 3 didn't have enough fluff which i don't understand that because if you actually know what you're doing in resident evil 2 you can actually beat that game in under two hours but i don't hear anybody complaining about that game i do not feel that this game has too much fluff i feel like this game really expands on the story and the characters from the midgar section of the game if you guys ever played the original final fantasy 7 we are in the midgar section of the game which is pretty much the first disc of the original final fantasy 7 this game takes place in that section of the game and i love what square enix did with this game is it too much fluff because you have all the characters doing all this walking and all this work no i don't see it like that if you guys play any of the modern day final fantasies whether it be from 10 12 13 you know 15 these games are all built in this type of fashion now so to me final fantasy 7 just kind of goes into the modern day world of final fantasy whereas if you want that that type of storytelling you still have the original game you're gonna hear me say that a lot if you don't like what they did with this remake you still have the original game you have the right to like and dislike whatever you want all those people out there bashing resident evil 3 remake you guys still have the original game i don't want a shot for shot remake of these games because guess what it didn't work out for the lion king lion king was pretty much a shot for shot remake of the animated movie and guess what it wasn't as good it was nowhere near as good as the animated original feature Final Fantasy VII Remake takes the Midgar section and it really expands upon this story, giving us more character development with these B to C level characters, whether it be like Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. I really fell in love with these characters. I didn't give a crap about these characters in the original game. And that's a good thing because I want to be able to care about these characters. I want to be able to spend more time with these characters. So when something happens to these characters, I can emotionally feel the impact of those decisions that happen within the game. I love spending more time with Tifa, Barrett, and Aerith, and I liked what they did. The big thing with this game, the two criticisms I hear the most is it feels like it's too padded. And the ending kind of contradicts everything that Final Fantasy is. Now, I just want to say this. One, I do not feel like the game is padded. I feel like they're taking Final Fantasy VII and they're moving it into a modern age and giving us more character development that they could not do back in the original game. If you're going to remake the game, give me something new. And that goes with the ending of this game. I can see where some hardcore fans of Final Fantasy VII would be upset with how this game ends. But I want to tell you guys this. This is just the first act of the story. We don't know how many parts this game is going to be. Is it going to be two parts, three parts, four parts? I think this game is going to be divided between three different parts, and we are just looking at the first act of a three-act story. And I feel like it's sort of unfair for so many people to automatically jump to conclusions after completing this first game and going, well, this completely messes up everything. Why does Square Enix even bother go back and remake this game if it's going to mess up? You're just looking at the first story of the game. You're just looking at the first act of a three act story to sit there and judge the entire story that hasn't even been released yet i think is a little crazy not only that i like some of the changes that they did with this game because like i said this is a remake if they were just going to do a shot for shot remake then don't touch it don't touch it don't do a remake unless you're going to add something new, something exciting. At the end of the day, I look at this game like this. Was I at the edge of my seat? Yes. Was the graphics phenomenal? Yes. Was I able to dive deep into these characters and learn more about them? Yes. Was the graphics phenomenal? Yes. Did I have a fun time for 40 plus hours playing this game? 
absolutely. Everything about this game was phenomenal, and the final boss battles of this game have been some of the best boss battles I have played in any game in years. They had me at the edge of my seat. I laughed, I cried. This game had everything. And to me, this is without a doubt on top for game of the year this year. And I just love what Square Enix did. I can't wait to see what happens in the next part of this game. I'm assuming it's going to be three parts. This is going to be basically like a three-act structure. And for all those people out there losing their mind going, this completely ruins everything, just wait and see what happens when the final parts are released. It's really hard to judge what they're doing right now. I think they're going to take the story that we love and just kind of expand upon it and, and build upon that lore. And I think that's a good thing. And again, if you guys don't like it, you have the original. It's been ported to every console. Play that if you don't like it. That's really all I can say. I had a blast playing this game. I loved playing it. I loved live streaming it for all you guys. And I just think the game is phenomenal. It was worth the 60 bucks and then some. It was so worth more than 60 I so got my $60 worth and more. That's how good this game is. I loved it to death. It was fantastic. I can't wait for this thing to be ported on the Xbox One whenever that time exclusive is over so I can play this thing again. I had that much fun playing it. It was fantastic. I loved the combat. I loved the story. I loved everything about it. The, the 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 amount of effort that Square Enix put into this game is phenomenal. And I just loved every minute of it. So I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Final Fantasy VII Remake? How many parts do you think it's going to be? I'm thinking three parts is about right. Are you one of the ones that think the Square Enix just completely fucked up Final Fantasy VII? Or are you just going to wait until the final part is out and judge it as a whole? Anyway, guys, Final Fantasy VII Remake. What do you guys think? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. And until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.